right. I moved out. This is a, a very, very exciting and new chapter to my life and I'm very excited to share it with you guys. I wish I documented more of the moving process because it was something I've never experienced before. It was very different, but I'm almost all settled in. I'm almost all moved in, you could say. Please excuse the mess, mom, if you're watching this. I'll clean up the dishes very soon, okay? And I promise I'll turn off the lights. But uh, yeah, we're still settling in. As you can tell, there's a couple of things like on display right now. I also have a really, really dope, Let, let's take a look at this view for a second, shall we? Let me show you around. Oh, I know just what you want. I can show you if you're down. She said I- But that's like behind the glass window. The, the ceilings are huge here. It's like, I think 12 foot ceilings. It's. It's a penthouse. It's freaking high up, man. This view is insane. And if you aren't motivated by this view every single day when you wake up, something's gotta be wrong with you. It's one of the major reasons I decided to go with this particular unit. I'll show you guys the, the actual patio view without the window in a second, but I'll give you guys a quick little tour. This right here is my living room. It's not completely furnished. I have a new desk coming in very soon. I still have to get a couch, which is gonna go there, a coffee table that's gonna go there, which we have coming in today. The desk is also coming in today. I'm also gonna be upgrading this TV. Here's a little setup of my uh, all my collectibles and displayable sneakers. They're like not completely beast. So I'll go through all this in a future vlog later this week. Here's a quick little look at that. Here's a look. There's like shoes everywhere. This is like a sneakerhead's like heaven right here. But anyways, here's a look at the kitchen. Very modern. We got the protein powder up there, um, but very clean. Over here's my bedroom. It's a bit messy right now. Sorry, mom. It's yeah, it's quite messy. So here's a bunch of clothing. I still need to fold twin size bed from my old house. Fits this room perfectly actually. And check out this. We have a door for privacy. Except it's not very private. I also have this dope piece of art from Osaka, which I still have to find a place to put on the wall and buy a frame for. And then if you move down this hallway, you will quickly see another stash of sneakers right here. We got the ones, the forces, the Yeezys, the Adidas stuff over here. Front door, we have another way to get to the restroom. And then we also have the sneaker room right here. Gonna have some fun with this. It's gonna become my sneaker closet. And I uh, have my dresser here because it was too big to fit in my, my bedroom. But yo, that is like the quick little tour for today's portion of the vlog. So I finally got internet today, which was very, very exciting. And uh, the person or one of the guys who actually helped out uh, set up the internet was a subscriber. But yo, I am, oh, I'm so hyped to be living here. Like I'm living on my own. I don't have a roommate for now. This is like my sneakerhead paradise. So I'm gonna have a lot of fun. Um, there's gonna be a, again, a full vlog showing you guys my entire apartment, my entire condo when it's furnished. But for now, this is my unofficial condo tour mixed with some sneaker shopping since we're in downtown Toronto. Now, I will talk more and more about this next chapter of my life with you guys in an upcoming video. Today, I just wanted to get a video up because I have not been uploading lately, as you guys can tell. I've been very, very inconsistent with the uploads and uh, it, it feels weird, you know? A big part of my life is YouTube, so they're not be uploading and, and constantly talking with you guys in the comments and stuff like that it feels weird so we're gonna get back into the daily vlog grind if you guys have seen my vlogs in the past they're pretty uh you guys you guys like them i mean i wouldn't be here without you guys you guys are straight up the reason i'm able to move out to have this place to myself to have this amazing view so thank you guys from the bottom of my heart thank you guys so much for all the constant support throughout these last few years. Let's get going downtown. I'm gonna show you guys what are the best sneakers sitting in stores right now, especially in the downtown Toronto area because that's of course where we're from. We got the Jordan store, we got Full Locker, Foot Action, Champs, a whole ton of stores we're gonna go to today. But yo, this view, I'll show you guys one more time without the window. downtown is gonna be really useful for when it comes to vlogging because uh, all the sneaker stores here are downtown and besides that there's also Tim Hortons and McDonald's steps away from my condo and the only Chick-fil-a in, uh, in downtown Toronto it's right behind me too so I'm gonna have to give that a shot now, I could walk to Young and Dundas and that would take me about like 10 to 15 minutes but it's freezing cold so let's take the subway <laughs> Jeez, out here. We out here. Just the crib. Rich, baby, I got what you need. Or it's out like the city is mine. Tell them they will never stop my baby. I got what you need. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. 
And just like that, from Subway to the mall, it's all interconnected, so I don't have to step outside into the cold. The very first stores we're gonna go to are all inside of the Toronto Eden Center, the major mall in the downtown core. Yeah, I got what you need. Oh, I don't know where I'm going, tell them all the dudes they better baby, I got what you oh. need. So here's a look at what they have at the Nike store in terms of the Jordan section. We got a few Jordan 1 mids. We got this sort of uh, the bread toe version right here. These are 150. I have a review for these coming very soon. I did buy a pair in a previous vlog. We also have the, uh, the royal toe here as well. These are both really dope colorways. Which ones do you guys like more? Let me know in the card in the top right hand corner right now. Hey. So they're cracking down on filming inside of the Nike store. So they uh, stopped me from filming with my big camera, but I did manage to film on my iPhone. So here's the iPhone footage. So next up we're heading over to Foot Action and I just stopped by Foot Locker to see what they had. And they have a couple of cool shoes so I'll show you guys the finds from Foot Locker. But next up, let's hit up Foot Action. These are crazy. They got the Adidas Young One in this like green velour material. It's $160 called the Aqua Young Ones. And uh, these are insane. I like the golden stitching right here on the tongue with the Adidas branding. That golden logo is pretty dope on the, uh, the laces as well. Such a weird combination of materials on the Young One. I'm not used to seeing the velour plus the leather. They also got the Pusha T Adidas Oswego and this black and brown one here too. And then they have quite a bit of the Star Wars collection. As you guys can see, all the bottom row here is all Star Wars. We've got the, I believe, the R2-D2 Night Joggers. we got the Stormtrooper Night Joggers. we got the Darth Vader NMDR1s and the Yoda NMDR1s. These are pretty cool. These remind me of the Adidas Originals NMDR1 OG uh, with the uh, the colors on the blocks right here. But this yellow on the midsole, this gold on the midsole, definitely throwing me off. These are going for 170 Canadian plus tax. These Ultra Boost 4s are really, really cool. Has this like red suede on the side heel cage, leather on the uh, the three stripes, and these red laces really pop on the black cover. These are really dope. And of course, it is the 50th anniversary for the Adidas Shell Toe or Superstar, whatever you want to call them. I think I prefer calling them the Superstars. What do you guys call them? The Superstars or the Shell Toes? But they got the uh, the Mickey Mouse collab right here with Disney. I think they did a few other pairs as well. Here's a look at the Jordan section at Foot Action. All the recent releases. Check it out, we got the Air Jordan 3 Unite. These were also sitting at the Foot Locker too. These are 265 Canadian plus tax. These are also being called the Red Cements. And damn, these are these are really, really nice. I like these a lot. I'm definitely getting like these Toro 4 vibes from this pair, especially with this red upper. And uh, I really like the shoe. I'm very, very tempted. The retail is really high, of course. It's 265, that's the regular retail price for Jordans. I would be very tempted to buy these for like 25% off or something, but I just don't know how I feel about the cement print mixed with the red because the cement is kind of a, a loudish kind of print, I wanna say. So mixing with the red is just a little, a little bit much. I do like them a lot though. We haven't seen a red Jordan 3 like this in a long time. And I know these are sitting everywhere. Might have to cop these, but what do you guys think about the uh, Unite Air Jordan 3? Are these a cop or a drop? Let me know in the poll in the top right hand corner of the screen. But these are easily one of the best sneakers you can buy at the mall, especially if you're looking for a dope Air Jordan retro. And they still have a bunch of these, the Air Jordan 4 winterized, really, really nice navy blue upper. It's the poor man Eminem 4s, as some of you guys call them. I think this is funny too. They have the Timberlands here and then they have the Denim Timberlands. So this is new, very Canadian. 150 for these Tims, 150 for these. But then they also have the Levi's, or not Levi's, sorry, the Denim Jordan 6 right beside the Denim Timberlands. So whoever thought about this display was very thoughtful. Here's a quick look at the Puma section. We got a few RSX 3s up above. We got some RSXs on sale for $100 plus tax. This red and blue colorway. They also have my favorite Puma model at the moment the puma future rider not crazy in love with this colorway but this is the only one they have they also have the style riders as well and it's two colorways here but i like the future riders a lot more and you guys see me wear these on my instagram at sneaker Toxie very often
Next up is the Nike section of Hood Action, AKA Kicks Lounge. So here's a look at all of the Air Max. A lot, a lot of Air Max is available right now and a lot of bold colorways too. I'm a huge fan of this yellow pair right here. We got the Olympic vibes with the, uh, the different ring colors on the tongue. I love whenever I see yellow Air Max. Here's a quick look at the Nike running section with a lot of the, uh, the React running shoes available at the moment. A lot of 25% off tags too. And then we also have the Air Force section. We got these, these are brand new. What the heck are these? The level eight HK Nike? HK Nike? Not a not a colorway I'm used to seeing. It's got this purple, this pink. We have another colorway here too, predominantly black with hits of these like pastel -y Easter colors as well. These are going for 145 plus tax. And then here's a quick look at the blazers. We got these and what the, whoa. Take a look at these. These are very loud, coming to America. Some very, very loud Nike blazers right here. And down below, we got a pair of all red Air Force One lows. Man, I remember I actually bought a pair of white Air Force One mids and I was paying someone to customize me a pair, make it all red, like a red October colorway. But the customizer ended up being a big scammer and scammed a lot of people. So I lost the pair of shoes and the $120 I was gonna pay the guy to make them all red. So that was a huge L like five or six years ago. But it's cool to see they have an all red Air Force One low right now. I, uh, I love the shoe, but I think the all red trend is sort of come and gone. So we'll see you at the outlets, bro. Colder than ever, like I don't own a sweater. My shit is on. Lately, I'm in it, spending my paper until it's gone. Here's a quick look at the uh, the Nike basketball section they have here at Foot Action as well. We have Tim's favorite basketball player, Giannis, here. Giannis Zoom Freak Ones on sale for $100. That is $60 off retail. So 100 Canadian, that's about 70 US. All right, so we're heading over to the Jordan store right now. And I'm also going to stop by Best Buy when we're done because I have to see if I can bring home a 60 inch TV by myself. But uh, one thing I got to say about Foot Action is that not only are their employees some of the nicest in the mall, but they also have the best shoe game in the mall too. Like they have bread toes, they got white cement fours, the crimson tints and those undercover element reacts. Man, Foot Action employees got the shoe game on lock. Foot Locker, champs, y'all gotta step it up, man. But with that said, let's go over to the Jordan store and see what heat they got over there. some of the ones all lined up. I love how it's always organized by retro number. Here's a look at all the ones that they got. They still have the uh, the Defiant Air Jordan ones that have the no swoosh on the side. <laughs> they have the no swoosh. They have no swoosh on the side right here. Retail price is $235 plus tax for these. These are really, really dope, man. These are easily one of the best sneakers you can buy in February right now. They also have the uh, the Jordan 3 Unites here too. I'm very surprised they still have these, the Jordan 8s from that like 3 M pack they did. They also did 6s and 7s like these as well retail on these is i think a little high and these are actually on sale right now for 200 dollars plus tax and a lot of people are saying these are one of the best low-key jordans you can buy at the stores at the malls right now this is the uh, the satin jordan ones that just came out no hype on these at all but a simple black and red colorway so if you're looking for that daily beater jordan one it's pretty decent but i'm just not really a fan of the satin material they use on the side here and uh i'd rather just buy another jordan like these ones right here instead. They also have the uh, the Animal Print Air Jordan 3s for $300 plus tax. Damn, man, these are expensive at retail. Not a fan of these ones at all. I am very surprised that these are sitting the Blue the Great Air Jordan 1 mids from that Fearless pack. These are insanely nice. These also really remind me of those Viotech Air Maxes and the Viotech Dunks. I love all the different colors they use on this. The, uh, the suede material is also really rich and that corduroy on the side is a really nice touch. You don't really see corduroy on any Air Jordans for that matter. So it's really cool to see it on the Jordan 1. And that's like a teddy bear furry kind of swoosh here too. Pretty dope. There's the Blue the Great little uh, logo or emblem on the side. And these are going for 170 Canadian plus tax so uh they have a size 10.5 on display so they likely don't have anything smaller than that they also have the brand new pine green jordan ones here on display at the moment these are releasing on february 29 and i asked the employees if these were going to be first come first serve or if they're going to be a, a raffle release because it's always up in the air when it comes to the toronto releases i mess with these a lot i just don't like what they did with the logo on the side the air jordan wing 
Jordan's logo. But overall, still a really great Jordan. And it also comes with red laces here as well. So I'm excited for these pine green ones, February 29. So we're heading to Best Buy now to see if I can haul this 60 inch TV over to my new crib. I uh, don't think I'll vlog much of this process. So I'll meet you guys back at the crib, show you guys the latest pickups, and uh, we'll see if this new TV fits inside of my living room. Okay, so good news. It fit in an Uber XL. So I got a thick boy right here, 55 inch Samsung Smart TV 4K LED ABC 123 KFC. And behind me is my 40 inch uh, Dynex TV, which I got, I think, four or five years ago during a Christmas Boxing Day sale, Boxing Week sale. Now it's time to set up this 55 inch. So I figured I'll show you guys the TV and living room transformation in the next vlog because I'll also be building uh, some furniture with my cousin tonight. If you guys know like those people you call your cousins, but they're actually not blood related or anything, they're just like family friends, but you basically just call them cousins. And uh, other pickups involve a pop figure. So this is my brand new pop figure. It is the Yellow Ranger from Power Rangers. Look at this, zoom that in, boom. It didn't really zoom in there. Oh, come on. One dollar. It cost me one freaking dollar Canadian. That's 70 cents for this pop figure, US. And uh, I bought this pop figure because I grew up watching Power Rangers, loved Power Rangers. It was like my favorite non Saturday morning cartoon because it was IRL. Amazon pickups. So we have some. This is going to sound like I'm really adulting, but I bought uh, shower hooks because I don't really like the shower hooks in my restroom right now. So we got some shower hooks. Welcome to Shower Hook Talk. And of course, I also had to buy some streaming gear. Uh, I'll be streaming a lot more on Twitch, twitch.tv slash sneakertalkca. So this is my blue Yeti shock mount right here. So I'm gonna be buying a mount very soon so I can not have uh, the keyboard clicks be caught in audio on, on the stream. On the stream. Man, it feels good with this view. Look at this view. Damn, this view is amazing. Just take a look, guys. and. Honestly, I can't thank you guys enough because you guys are the reason I'm able to, to move out and live on my own in this amazing, beautiful condo. So thank you guys so, so much for all the love and support. It really means the world to me. But yeah, this is just like my afternoon view without it being super sunny. The nighttime view is insane as well, along when it's sunset, just beautiful. This is the next chapter of my life. If you can take away anything from this moving out vlog, um, I would just love to inspire you guys to, to chase your dreams, work hard, stay patient, do as much as you can in the field you're passionate about and, and try and make it into your career, your, your hobby, make that, make that something that is self-sustaining and uh, that makes you happy. And yeah, I just wish you guys the best because I'm so happy being here and it's just, I feel so much gratitude and, and gratefulness right now. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next vlog. Um, again, daily vlogs, baby. We're gonna try and upload these every morning. And this is it, man. This is, this is the real world now, all on my own, fending for myself. Every now and then, my mom will bring over leftovers, I hope. But uh, yeah, this is it, and I need your support now more than ever to, to, to make this dream possible. So thank you guys so much, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.